All right, guys. Doing this on my uh, my phone now. Tried using a camera for the last one, and the battery died uh, like right at the end of the review. So I'm waiting on it to charge so I can put the review on or edit it and put it on. Um, but here I've got this is my uh, second video review uh, for the pumpkin ale six nine three zero nine six one nine four. Go ahead and crack this open. The, the black tape was kind of a challenge to get off. All right, got cut off there. The battery went dead on the on the phone. I was trying to say, I think when I got cut off that uh, I was having battery problems on my other device, and then uh, my camera quit on my phone. So got a little charge there. Uh, gave some time for the uh, the bottle. I actually popped it um, and started to uh, had a little bit of a gush there uh, so it gave it some time to settle I poured it into a glass just maybe 45 seconds to a minute ago I uh, got about three quarters of the bottle and had to cut it off it was getting pretty high on the on the carbonation on the head there I'm gonna try and uh, top this off with some more of the beer get this in here We're probably going to call that one good. I don't know if there's any sediment in there. Don't want to get that all stirred up though. It tends to happen on the overcarved uh, beers. A bit overcarved. Uh, 693-096-194 pumpkin ale. Definitely smell the pumpkin. It's got that, uh, that pumpkin aroma you get from for most pumpkin ales, pumpkin beers. Maybe some spice there, a little bit of spice. Some pumpkin pie aroma. Cheers. A lot of carbonation there. Kind of takes the beer right off your palate, so I can't really get a feel for what the beer is like. A little bit of bitterness there on the finish. I'm gonna say kind of light on the on the body, maybe. Um, and I'm not sure. There's something going on there. Maybe overcarbed, pulling all that uh, the flavor out of the beer. Um, kind of not getting a lot of flavor out of this one. Maybe a little bit sour there. Hopefully not an infection. Maybe a maybe a bad bottle here. A little bit heavy on the carb. Something going on there though. I'm gonna let that settle for a little bit. The carbonation die down. See if um, see if that beer doesn't come around for us. All right, so the the beer settled down a little bit, shook a little carbonation out of it. Still got quite a bit there. The spice is really coming through now. Really good aroma. I think that Spice is really coming through on that. It's pretty clear, I mean, decent clear, a little bit of a haze there. I think that probably happened with the, the bottle, the carbonation kicking things up. Didn't get really a chance to, uh, a good chance to pour before that got stirred up. Kind of a lingering bitterness there. A lot of spice, a lot of spices there. Dry beer. Not a whole lot there on the mouthfeel. Kind of dry, I'd say, in your lower body. Pumpkin beer. <laughs> 